The Peckerham Bush is only open of an evening, and this lot, the crew, they keep me very, very busy I changing the barrels. They're yeah. a thirsty lot. But the other morning, I did manage to get up early. Did surprise, you? surprise, well yeah, done. I did. And I went in search of some of our very special residents here at RSPB Arm. So, Howard, this here, this is one of your tins. Why do you put out these tins? Well, if you think about uh, reptiles, uh, everybody sort of describes them as cold-blooded, but they're not actually cold-blooded. They have to have a body temperature which is more or less the same as yours or mine. And the, the, there's two strategies that they use to achieve that. One is lying out basking in the sun, and the other is getting under something that's warmed by the sun. And smooth snakes in particular tend to use that strategy. So we use these tins on Heathland to survey for smooth snakes because they have a habit of going underneath and warming up. Let's have a look. Right, we use a stick just to get the front edge of the tin up to avoid getting bitten by an adder. And look at oh. that. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, two, I'm not going to touch them. No, no, no. <laughs> but uh, there are two smooth snakes there and they're big adults. The one on the, 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 right, the right there that's still there, um, that looks like a female to me. You can see it's got that dark crown on the head. It's got that sort of double row of spots down the back. And even from here, you can tell that it's smooth. So it's not got the, the rough scales that the um, adder and the grass snake has. But look at that. Wow. Let's give it a bit of sun. Oh. And you can see it shining in the sun as it uh, moves away. Stunning. Yeah, that's a female. So these tins, you can only lift them under licence? You, you can only lift these under licence because mm. there's a high likelihood they're going to be smooth snakes under it, and that is a European protected species. So if you see signs like this, wildlife survey, please do not touch. On any site, mm. please do not touch Don't it. Touch because it. somebody's mm. doing a survey, they may actually be doing a, a, a very specific study and the more disturbance these things get, then it's going to affect the, uh, the results of that survey. My first ever snakes in the UK, and I saw two of them. That's amazing. So what happens when we come out with you, Howard? There's an important message there, though, because you're a wildlife photographer. You're observant. You go out and see things, but yet you don't see reptiles. No. So that tells us all a lot, yeah. that they're not as common as we would love to think that they could be, and as, as common as they once were. So what can we all do to help reptiles in the UK? Build a pond for grass snakes because they eat amphibians. Big compost heat, nicely managed because grass snakes lay their eggs in there and, and slow worms love compost heaps as well. Don't mow your lawn, waste of time, and don't use chemicals. That doesn't just help reptiles, it helps... Helps everything. It helps everything, yeah, doesn't exactly. it? You know?